right folks i'm gonna have a go at making a big vase now so i've got a what a seven pound ball of clay which should be fun not made any of these for quite a while so i'm a bit out of practice so when you're centering big lumps like this it's better to them up like that then then what you do is just bring it down and it's a lot easier to do it that way than to just try and do it all in one one lump at the bottom maybe about a quarter of an inch or so so then what I'm going to do first off is using this part of my hand against my hand in the inside just just get some of the thick stuff up not going to try and get any height yet just get some of the thick stuff up from the bottom Gripping quite a lot of this clay, so I need to put a bit of water on. So I'll just get a bit of the thick stuff up for a start, and then now what I'll do, I'll, I'll cone it right in before I do the first of the knuckle lift. Because if you don't cone it in, make it narrow at the top it'll just it'll just splay outwards so again just try and squeeze it in at the bottom a little bit and then not cone it in sorry collar it in that's what I meant to say so we'll do the first knuckle lift which again as you know if you've seen my videos it's using that knuckle there on my right hand against the hand on the inside and just drawing it up slowly so It's just a matter of 
stretching it out as much as you dare from the inside. Steady as you go. tomorrow when I'm turning this just mop out the water quite a lot in because the clay was quite grippy so I'll make a few more different shapes of this this week and put them up post them up what we can come up with. I'll try, I might even try and do one of those moon jars again, a few of those. Not made any of those for a while. So anyway, there's a little sort of bulbous pot with a big top. Not too bad, I don't think. <laughs> 